Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Today in this video lecture we are going to see the bleeding time test using Duke's method. In the previous videos lecture if you guys remember we already explained it in detail and we already explained the bleeding time using Duke's method as well as Ivy's method. But we explain it uh, through a picture or we also explain it, uh, you know, uh, theoretic in a theoretical way. But today in this video, we are going to see the bleeding time uh, through practical way that how to perform this test. Okay, so let's see the video that how to perform this bleeding time test. So now let's see that uh, first of all let's explain that what is actually bleeding time. Remember bleeding time is actually the blood test or the time through which we will see the blood flow from that specific area of the body where we prick it using the template. For example if we prick the air loop the pulp of the finger or heel uh, using template or lancet so then what happened the blood flow will start. And when the blood flow start and stop at a specific time, so then this whole process is called as bleeding time. So this is a little bit introduction related to the bleeding time. Now let's see the requirement means what we required while performing that test. So we need a alcohol pad or alcohol swab which we will use it uh, to clean that specific area where we want to prick. This is the lancet or template. This is called as a template. Okay. And let me show the uh, needle of the template. Uh, sorry, uh, this lancet. So this is the needle of the lancet through which we will prick the specific area of the body. Now this is the filter paper which we will use to absorb the blood uh, flow. Okay. We need stopwatch. Let's see the procedure that how to perform that test. So to perform that test, first of all, we will, you know, clean that specific area of a body where we want to prick. So this is the air loop. So we want to perform that test with air loop. So now this is the air loop. First of all, we will clean or, uh, you know, clean it using the alcohol swab. So once it's clean by alcohol swab, so what we will do, we will prick it using this, uh, uh, this lancet. Okay. So now we made a prick as you can see and after some time the blood flow will be started as you can see the blood flow is started now the blood flow is started as you can see but to you know flow it uh, mostly so what we will do we will put a, a, a little bit pressure on it through which the blood flow will start uh, uh, more and more so as you can see now after that what we will do we will start the stopwatch. Now the stopwatch is started. And after every 10, 20 or 30 seconds, what we will do? We will absorb this blood with a filter paper as you are watching. Okay. Now this is the whole process as you are watching. And after every 20, 30 or 10 seconds, we will absorb the blood flow. And we will continue the same process until and unless the blood flow is stopped. Now at a specific time the blood flow will be stopped as you can see after a specific time the blood flow is stopped okay very less blood will be you know coming out from that specific area. Now once the blood flow is stopped so then you will also stop this stopwatch. So now as you can see we have the bleeding time 4 minutes. So this is how the bleeding time. Thank you so much for watching.